All right, guys, welcome back to some more Lords of the Fallen. I just got attacked as I logged in. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out. Now, what we ran into last episode is I could come up this way and there was another way that I could go like down there. You see that bridge? Uh, both ways are blocked off by like a little mini boss, I guess you could say. And both ways suck. Um, the boss up here, I felt like I, I I fought more than once. I was getting kind of the hang of it. Uh, he's he's pretty crappy, but we're gonna we're gonna jump back in. We're gonna try to get this guy beat, and then uh, and go from there. The only thing is that I did switch from playing on a PS5 controller to playing on an Xbox controller, so it does feel a little weird. Um, so give me a little bit to uh, get reacclimated uh, re to the the controller. Am I still playing Borderlands? Yes. So Borderlands, um, I've been busy the past few mornings uh, and, you know, with my leg acting up and stuff like that, I, I haven't been able to. I got one three and a half hour episode recorded of Borderlands. Um, I was supposed to do more of it, but uh, like I said, my, my leg's been acting up. Um, so I want to get back into it, but yeah, I, I plan on doing some videos and we're just going to be dropping the Borderland series as uh, videos for right now. All right, here we go. So let me health. We're good. Um, I might try fire here or uh, poison. Thrust attack, we gotta know not to try to go in for an attack. Because he does that, that fall, and once you're locked into that attack animation, there's nothing you can do. Now, the poison damage was actually quite significant.
start. Every time, it, you gotta love it, dude. You gotta love it. So the worm things, they're not connected to him, though, like Lucy, so... Um, you can tell when they are connected, they'll tell you. spawn that clone in the middle of an attack. Sometimes he does a second up follow up attack after this thrust. Sometimes he does. And now he's doing it every time. And now he's not. Oh, it's like they know. Them.
one, dude. That's what. Oh. <laughs> when he's like that, he's healing. Break out of that? He lost all that holy magic. Bloodlust. So be honest, chat. How many of you guys thought I wasn't going to win? Damn, 13 Inferno. Really good bleed sword. To start, yo, can you respec in this game, guys? Points, I gotta get the hell out of the ember, though. the game look at my end it looks really good yeah I don't know where the hell we're going right now still got the other boss down on the lower side which I can see you Okay, so that brings us up. I think I might go, uh... Yeah, we'll go, we'll go do that other boss first. Just want to make sure I survive.
slurping up all the souls. At least we died right here. You can respect three to four times, and the respect crystals are hard to find except Sky Creek. Oh, didn't I just get to Sky something? Don't, don't do that. What the hell was that? Bend up these little solely. Ah, or do I want to upgrade my weapons? I think I want to upgrade my weapons. So what we'll do is we'll warp back to. Now, so one of you guys said I could. Buy... Oh, Skyrest. So what is the name of that crystal? Because I might respect some of my. Uh... I might respect. I really don't got that many points to respect other than taking the points I put in Radiance throwing them Inferno yeah oh let me see so in Radiance Judgment our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption You look tired, friend. Several of our sacred, a noble knight, and most devout fault, canonized after he sacrificed the hallowed sentinels what was necessary for the greater good. Many have given their lives to sustain the beacons, but Latimer was the first, and remains one of our most venerated figures. Our holy work continues, Lampair. Let Arius's will be done. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. So where do you buy the crystal in Skyrest, or the thing in Skyrest to reset your traits? There's to only... strive in darkness, in light we walk. Oh, the guy who upgrades, it. so this thing up here. Charm right there. Man, I would love to try magic in this game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, guys. There's points where I'm sitting here like, yo, I kinda I kinda wanna try out some magic. It seems like Elden Ring where it has some good um Oh, here we go. Used to reassign the points. Eight thousand though, guys. That's freaking 
thick. Until her embrace. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you I serve, until her embrace. Let's see how this works out, guys. So the only downside is I did drop a bunch of upgrades into my other sword, so switching swords, we're gonna lose um, a bit of the upgrades. So now that I have this, how, how how do I use it? Oh, I gotta bring it to her. Oh, there it is. Okay, so she does it. Okay. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. All right, let's see. So we're going to go... And your devotion be rewarded with strength. Radiance is bad. Yeah, Radiance seems really cool. Like, it's like the holy energy. Um, but I don't have anything that, that I can benefit off of right now with Radiance. But I do have something I can benefit off of with uh, Inferno. So that's why I'm kind of getting some Inferno going here. Because I got a sword that I could use. This one right here, the Bloodlust. It's another bleed weapon. So we'll be, I can run double, dual bleed short swords. why it wouldn't let me like go oh, like I can't scroll over to my weapons on the controller for whatever reason I mean I don't care I can just use my mouse it's not a big deal um so we could run this and then bloodlust so now we're running a dual bleed swords and that sword looks sick Uh, 
Uh, the problem though is ah, you upgrades. I only got 500 vigor. Um, let me see. Is there anything else I can sell? Ah, you again. So I need a, another 600, but I don't, ah, I don't think we're swinging on that. Again. Maybe if I sell some of these potions that I never use. There, I was able to get a tier th plus three on that. Okay, so I was able to get the weapon up to par with the other one that I'm using. I want to see if we hit any different um, with the bleed. It could have been a terrible investment, chat. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed my bleed damage in Elden Ring. I had a lot of fun with that. Oh, yeah. There it is. Huge. Huge, splody bleed damage. Kill him. Ah. Bryce, what's going on? Oh, I am on uh, whatever map this is. I forgot the name of it. I found the bleed to be really good against bosses in Elden Ring. The, the crazy thing about Bleed in Elden Ring was um, I, everybody, you know, was playing like warrior builds and mage builds and stuff like that. I picked the rogue build right off the bat and, and, and it, it was not very viable early game. Um, but a lot of people got on the Bleed bandwagon once everybody realized how OP it was. But I swear, chat, I was, I was running Bleed before it was OP. Since day one Elden Ring. I rolled, a, I rolled my character. And the reason why I went with bleed wasn't even because... It was because of the bloody flingers, juice staggers. Bloody fingers, juice daggers were, were so good. Good shit. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> Oh. 
How long is this game? I actually have no clue. Uh, Passing dude, what's going on? How you doing? Gatsby, how you doing today, brother? Balti, what's going on? I appreciate everybody again for coming and hanging out. I got a little consumed when we first... Holy shit! <laughs> Almost got burned. Did I ever play Ghostwire Tokyo? No. Uh, George um, played it over on his channel. I watched probably about 20 minutes of him playing it one day. And it looked pretty cool, actually. Caspi brought it up to me a while ago. It was before the game even came out. Um, Caspi messaged me. He was like, yo, dude, you should check out this game. Um, but yeah, it just never had like a huge bit of buzz around it. Like Nobody really has requested it all that much. It hasn't been a... Uh, and I generally check out games that, you know, a lot of you guys are like, oh, check this out, check this out, check this out. Um, but yeah, that game wasn't really brought up all that much, so that's why I never rushed to play it. Plus, I think it's a PS PlayStation only exclusive. And uh, as you guys know, I'm a PC guy, so... As long as we can stay out of the umbrella here, we'll be, we'll be in good shape. Started Elden Ring again earlier. Uh, you know what's so crazy, Caspi? After playing this game um, and like Liza P and stuff, I actually got an Elden Ring bug. I was like, yo. And then uh, come to find out, I guess there's like a bunch of mods that came out for Elden Ring that like really, really changed up the game. There was one that I see, cause I seen this guy doing this combo. I was like, yo, what the hell? I've never seen that attack pattern before in Elden Ring. Like it, it was so sick. And I guess there's a mod called the Kyrian combo mod or something like that. And that shit looked so fun. Um, but yeah, it's, as you guys know, I just don't have a whole lot of time. careful over here. I don't want to get sucked in. Uh, I'll be playing Spider-Man tomorrow. It doesn't come out till tomorrow. I don't have early access. Wow, that was a lot of damage. next boss room. I don't remember if there was a, a a spot to heal without having to cut all the way back through this. Getting in size that exercise. Ooh, 
that was cheese and a half. I don't know how I even pulled that off. I don't even know how I pulled that off. Holy shit, dude. Climb that ladder at light speed. There might have been a spot up here we could seed. I think I seeded up here last time. Now that I think about it. Right here. Totem. Might be further in. So I don't see anything here. By the light? Damn, that's, that's a little farther back than I would have want. The only thing that sucks is I gotta um. Any seed spots up here? There's no flowers because you can tell when the seed spots are because you can see the flowers. It's probably up on the other side here. All right, we'll umbra. So make it easy to spot it too. So there's nothing back here. Oh, you can get in here. This way, through the umbrella, though. I'll do. Hey, look at that. You're a lampy like me. Right down there. Not gonna hurt us now we got the easy. Eh? <laughs> Wait till Melchior sees me next. I'll chop my own head off and come back and he won't believe his eyes. <laughs> He's my brother. He's a famous knight. He's fought dragons and 
giants and, and evil wizards and all sorts. Those spiky baddies only got the drop on us because they cheated. I fell down and got knocked on the head. And when I woke up, Melchior were gone. And he'd never leave me. They took him. But not to worry. I'll get him back and be a hero just like him. We got a new resting spot a little closer to the boss. Uh, no, Spider-Man 2 doesn't come out till tomorrow, guys. It's the 20th. There might be other YouTubers playing it, but they got early access, as you guys know. We don't, we don't get no early access around here like that. I did reach out to Sony, too, about it, but they, they just never responded. I'm not a big enough content creator uh, to, you know, like to get big time titles like that. Just not that they don't, they don't in their eyes. I'm not, I'm not that, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, love the content and stuff and see me as more than I really truly am. But yeah, Sony and, and companies like that, I'm, I'm, I'm not even a blip on their radar. Two hundred K is still a hundred more K than me. So I don't know if fire salts are gonna work against this guy, because I believe this guy is fire. Right? I mean I could try to use holy salts. I need to just kind of fight this guy one round just to figure him out. So sometimes when you guys will see like really small YouTube channels playing games, what ends up happening is because uh, if you know, like, let's just use Walmart for an example. Walmart has copies of, of Spider-Man 2 um, sometimes days and days and days before the game comes out. And uh, what ends up happening is I, 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 I've seen it happen plenty of times. You'll slide one to your one of your boys or something like that. And um, people get copies early. And then they'll play them on, on YouTube and shit like that. Super, super illegal. You can get in a lot of trouble for it. But people, don't, they, they don't really see the danger in it. This fight sucks. All right, let's figure this guy out. Can't even see what's happening. It's all good. Time to heal. Okay. We have bleed damage is exploding this dude right now, chat.
even killed me, dude. Oh, I gotta destroy the totem? Mm, I was wondering what the fuck that thing was. I think we got a chance. My bleed? I, I, it's super. I think it's pretty good. The bleed damage is. It's, it's there, guys. It's there. We got the damage, guys. Uh, I am definitely happy with that. It's like Arby's. We got the meats. Or is it we have the meats? The Runer Axe. It's a flame weapon. 150. Is it we are the meats? I thought they said we have the meats. So I don't know what where this area goes. I know the other uh, side we went to over there brought us up, I think on top of that wall. Something in the umbrella here. I'm going to check this area in the umbrella.
see how the fuck do we get out there? Under the bridge. Yeah. Almost. Almost pulled my ass in. Trying to see if there's a way to get under the bridge from one of the sides. Obviously, we'll probably have to do it from the umbral. But now that we got a, a seed spot there, we're, we're in good shape. Yeah, like all this here. Looks like this might be See it better. So we got to get up on this side. Gets us over there, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because they're down on the sides there. It's one of them. Oh, so it was just the one. I thought it was some on the side there. All right, no, no, we're good. Right, he's, I, I made that way more complicated in my brain than it needed to be. What's up, brother? How you doing?
such a satisfying like fuse. Get me out, get me out! Thank you! Alright, so now I can drop this ladder down over here. I think that has to be one of the most rewarding things about, like, um, Souls-like games. It, it, you know, especially, like, Dark Souls and things, is, is, like, the exploration. Like, how much of the... Because the game doesn't tell you anything. There really is no narrative, like, driven, there's no waypoints, there's no nothing like that. So games like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, there's so much content that, like, people can just overlook if you're not, like, really checking every possible path and shit like that. So, like, this whole entire area that I'm in right now, I don't even think is the way toward the main mission. I think it's just an optional side spot. But it is really, really uh, satisfying. <laughs> But yeah, that was I think an adjustment for me. I'm very I'm used to like very, you know, narratively wait, no, 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 no. We just did a circle, didn't no, this this is not the same area. Yeah, it makes me want to play uh, just so many Souls games. What the hell is this? Would you guys say the remake to Demon Souls is pretty good, though? Because that's like the very first, right? This all looks sketchy as hell. Let me see if I can bow this dude here. So I think a goal of mine one day would be to start um, start playing Souls games from like Demon Souls, the very first one. You know what I mean? And just work my way through every Dark Souls game and try to actually beat them all. All like not just Dark Souls, but like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, like all of them. I don't think I'm skilled enough, but. And I don't know if that'd be entertaining enough content to, like, maintain it on the channel, but we could try. Ah, uh, Dave, I appreciate you, man. What the hell we're gonna be walking into here? <laughs> Ghost run. Mm, nice. We got a. 
vested here. What shitty shit am I getting myself into, guys? Infernal weapon? That that sounds cool. Eighteen infernal and infernal catalyst. Plunge your weapon into the earth and imbued it with fire. See, that's what I need, guys. So how do I get... How do you use spells in the game? I don't even see where you would equip them or anything. Or do I gotta switch out my bow for... For something that can wield magic. Need a catalyst? What is it? Is that like a wand or some shit? Thanks. Get this. Not a mimic, right? Severed hands to per oh, not so I don't know what these are, guys. There's a couple shrines in the game where you can like donate shit, and I don't know what they are. But we just found another thing that we can donate to. I gotta go check the other one, because the other one is right back in the base. Let me see here. It's right up here. This thing. So this is the Shrine of the Putrid Mother. And I can donate eyeballs. So what is your duty? You just do oh, and I can get another one of those little crystals here. So what do you just donate stuff, and you can buy others? Like you can just buy this stuff off them. Is that how that works? Like a vending machine kind of, I got, yeah, I'm tracking. You put severed hands or eyeballs in them and you can, you can get stuff. Aftershock.
Let's see how this goes. How low my health was. <laughs> mm, I think he's in the umbral. Bro, I, we're not mess, we're not messing with that. <laughs> You're trying to fucking kill me, dude. We're not messing with that right now. So we're gonna head across here, I guess. Why? I don't know. Should we go that way, guys, or should we go that way? So I can either go back over there, go back up the elevator, or go explore this side. I don't know which side is what, you know, like, if that's progressing main story, if this is side quest, the optional. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're here. We might as well explore. Fiddler, that's a good point. loads here in the freaking umbral side damage Dude, those headshots are no joke why am I hitting so hard all of a sudden That is indeed a mimic. Ah, so we were able to cleanse the mimic out of it and then loot it. Here it is. Oh 
looks like a boss fight area, doesn't it? It's like one of those Grim Reaper dudes here. I don't think I've fought one of them yet. I right, screw it. We'll go. We'll go Umbral. I did not get early access to Spider-Man, no. Uh, guys, I rarely get early access to games. Like, rarely. And when I do, I, I will definitely always let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, Spider-Man was not one of them. How bad is this game? This game is phenomenal. It's like it's it's like more El it's like Elden Ring DLC. I wonder if I could get up these stairs if I wasn't in the Umbral. Jedi Hunter, you gotta remember, YouTube is a way bigger platform than Twitch. Like, my numbers and the, like, I'm, I'm, 
Uh, I do what like the top one percent of people do in Twitch on YouTube. Like I'm like you know what I mean. But so Twitch to me would not be a better platform. If anything, I would do way worse on Twitch uh, than I do on YouTube. Um, because a lot of my viewership actually comes from after my videos or my live streams are over. Where it used to be the exact opposite. Most of my viewership came from my live streams. Now most of it comes from after my video or my streams become videos. But if I were to if I were to have tried to start my my career on Twitch, um, I would never have went full time. Yeah, YouTube has absolutely gone crazy. You know, YouTube actually changed their rules, guys. Back in the the day, they actually are changing it next month. Um, how ads work, and I try to tell people this all the time because I, I get people that say stuff so like, "Dude, like, why are there so many ads on your videos?" What people don't know is I don't have any control over the ads on my videos. And starting in November, this is how it works. You tell YouTube whether you want ads on your videos or you don't. They choose everything. Like right now you can go in and, and place your own ads if you really wanted to. Which a lot of video creators do because you know they, they edit their videos they'll say you know all right this will be a good spot for an ad to pop up this will be a good spot for an ad to pop up i don't know how to do this uh, uh, but youtube is now taking that away from us as creators you can't do it anymore um, you just say whether you want ad revenue or no, and then they, they choose where they go. What the fuck is going on? This there we go. We're good. I, I thought we were SOL right there, guys. Vlado, what's going on? How you doing? Okay, we're good. So we can head out the back side here. Let me go back up and check on that balcony if there was any... Was that there? But I just used up the totem, so... Could try to see it go all the way up in this. As long as I don't have to go. Yeah, I get I get YouTube Premium myself. There's a lot of good benefits to YouTube Premium. I've been using it for about a, a year and a half now. Okay, 
we got one of those story things here. Shit. But you gotta go full umbral in order to do that, don't you? Fitzroy's helm, armor. Oh, so we got Fitzroy's sword before. Um, now we just got his armor. But I think that's heavy armor, right? Yeah, 100%. Oh, we got the boot. Look at the cape, though, dude. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It is heavy, but I'm still in medium encumbrance, so I can get away with the extra armor on the helmet and the extra armor on the wrist. And I'll just leave my legs and body of the medium armor and I stay in medium carry. Shit, we're gonna have to go umbral though in order to pull this off. Uh, Yeah, I just kind of like made my own transmog set here. I feel like it, it kind of flows together, right guys? I feel like it flows a little bit. Hey, we can't do. Thank you so much. It's always so crazy because uh, I see your name and every time I see Jamie Cantu pop up, I served with one of my buddies when I was in the Marine Corps, a really good friend of mine. Uh, his name was Josh Cantu. Um, so every time I see it, it's just you, you remind me of him. Uh, post the SOD2 stream where you wipe out the... Uh, the office base <laughs> oh replay that series oh man i thought about replaying like some of the older state of the case stuff for people but those series have been watched quite off i don't know uh, i might have to ask around and see how people feel about me doing uh replays on that the one the things i was doing replays on though were you know the games where uh that people just really haven't watched and i feel like you know a lot of people have seen my state of the case stuff but I think it probably would be kind of funny to bring back some of those old series where, you know, like I killed off my wife and not intentionally. So I accidentally killed off my wife and stuff like that. There's probably some people that still haven't seen those series. For the next replay, post the SOD 2 stream where you wipe at the office base, drop kick feral clip, and have to build from scratch again. And or the stream where you name a survivor crystal and she dies. Okay, we gotta we gotta wipe the we gotta cleanse this dude. Got it. Did we get him. Yep. 
got it. We got it. Oh shit! Oh, so I've never fought one of these guys up close. Okay, so umbral, umbral totem here. So you know what? We'll go up top. I will. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We'll get that access to that 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 spirit up top. And then I'll come down. I can pull myself out of the umbral, umbral right there. You twin, Joey. We listen, Vic. We, you're enough, man. We 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 can't. We we can't we can't handle any more wheezies in the chat. One wheezy is enough wheezy for all of us, dude. Any more wheezies, and I might have to just start pushing buttons on my keyboard, dude. And no, only nobody knows what'll happen when I do that. There can only be one wheezy. I, I see you already. You got my, you got my mods pulling their hair out. We can only have one. Also, guys, I asked this question on Twitter yesterday. I know it's a little off topic. Um, but this is... Uh, I... Give me one sec, guys. It's kind of important, so I want to take a second to ask you guys. Um, I, I And I even asked in Discord. I, I generally don't... You guys know me personally, right? I, I don't like to really, you know, get into, like, controversial topics or, like, world events or politics you guys know me all right i i'm not i'm not about that life but i do have to ask you guys something all right so just bear with me and i'm sorry if uh this gets gets to something but the uh, real question all right listen do you guys consider towels to be a one-time use or a multi-use item all right. Do you do you use a towel once and wash it, or do you use a towel m multiple times and then wash it? Let me know in the comments too if you're watching this afterwards. See, so it seems like the common answer across the internet is multiple use. That definitely seems like the most common an answer among everybody. Because my my idea now the the thing between my household is we kind of do a combination of both. Like my kids will use a towel, but then they end up just throwing it on the floor and balled up in the corner somewhere, and then it just gets thrown in the hamper. You know what I mean? Um, but then like sometimes like I'll use a towel, sometimes I'll throw it straight in the hamper, or sometimes I'll throw it, uh, I'll hang it over the banister or something, or I'll hang it on the hook on the door if I remember. But a lot of the times I use a towel, I just kind of i do i ball it up and throw it in the hamper um and i was curious i was like man i wonder how many people like just like do the same thing or if it's common practice for people to like you know use the towel multiple times because when i was in the military i used the towel all multiple times you know what i mean you got your towel and uh you go you take a shower you come back because technically you're just washing off water you, you know and then the thing is is if my because somebody was like oh well when you get out the shower um 
You know, you're, you're wiping, you're washing your butt off, and then, you know, you could potentially be going and putting that same butt towel on your face. But then my answer to that was, well, if I'm, if I'm worried about getting butt water juice on my towel, I probably need to get back in the shower. You know what I mean? If, if, if the water that's going on in my towel from my butt is something I'm worried about putting on my face, I probably should get back in the shower. You know what I mean? That, that's how I think about it, at least. You know, so the argument is, like, yeah, it is just water, but then some people bring up some good points, like, you know what I mean? Like, these guys are new. I gotta... Is if it's just water, then towel sharing wouldn't be such a, a weird, because I wouldn't want, like, you know, go and dry off with a towel and like, oh, it's just water. And then like, or my son use it and like have his little cheesy nut water, like on the towel. And that like, nah, like towel sharing is, is, is not, a, is not a thing. How did he throw that through the wall? So I feel like one time use if your towel sharing, but if it's just your towel, I personally feel that you can get away with multiple. No, no, no. So, I mean, I mean, I'm talking like even if somebody dried themselves with the towel, right, and then hung it up, dried it, I still couldn't take that dried towel knowing my son's little fucking cheesy nut water was on the fucking the towel. Like, not happening, dude. So I think there is definitely going to be like a boss or something here, <laughs> but I don't want to step into it. How many heals do I got? Uh, the closest vestige is quite far. The seedling was on the other side, of the, but let me go cut through this area first. Yeah, it, it just looks like a boss area. You know what I mean? Like, after you game for a while, you can kind of just... Ooh, can I see this? Yes. Nice. So we got a little seed area here. And then, you, you know what's crazy is we're talking about the towel stuff, right? And then some, you know, there's always them real savages out in the world. And, and somebody was like, yo, I don't use towels. I just air dry. That's one of the most, that's, that, that's one of the most savage things I've ever heard in my life. Like, how you air dry, champ? How do you air dry? Like, you, if you air dry, you're definitely built different. Because, like, my thing is, is I, I got, I don't know if it's, if tell me if it's just me, chat, but I'm real weird. Like, I can't put clothes on until I'm like completely dry. And I used to serve in the military and like you get guys that come out the shower and they're like instantly like, they're like half dry, like throwing their clothes on and shit. And I'm like, bro, like now my clothes are all like damp and wet. And like, you got like, you see the people that got like the little water spots on their clothes and they're like pulling socks up over like half damp feet. I'm like, bro, you are a savage, dude. There's no way. I can't do it, guys. I gotta be like dry, dry before I put clothes on. 
But then you got the real savages out there. They're just like half dry and just putting clothes on. out this area a little bit before I uh, try that boss area or potential boss area just because I don't want to like have to re-clear all these dudes again. What do you guys mean that wasn't controversial? That was a, that's a controversial cho topic right there. I'm very, 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 very happy with my damage. It's just, you know, I never had such a wide, you know, base of other human beings to talk to, you know, so it's always nice to be able to, like, talk to so many different people from all over the world and all different walks of life and, you know, find out just how fucking weird I really am, you know what I mean? That, that's, like, one of the best parts about it. It's just, like, like, am I as weird as I think I am? Because I think I'm pretty freaking weird, you know what I mean? And then I talk to people and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not that weird, you know? I don't know if I wanted to go up in there yet. <laughs> like, there's just weird things that, like, like the other, like, there was another thing I, I realized, um, another, like, shower topic, you know, TMI, guys, but I, I, I has anybody else noticed this? I, I tried to do something different in the shower the other day, and I, I noticed every time I grabbed the loofah to start, like, scrubbing, I always grab the loofah in my right hand, right? And I always start on my left arm. Like I start on my hand like like this and then I work my way up my arm and that's how I, and I tried to switch it and change the routine and it felt weird. So I was like, oh shit. Like I didn't notice like for like at least as long as I can remember, I always wash my body starting from my left hand. And I was like, that's so weird. 
So does any does everybody else like have a place that you're or is there any let me guess there's some savages in the chat who like just start randomly in, in random places? Could you imagine just one day you start <laughs> you start you just like you know what today I'm starting with the face or today I'm starting with my chest or today I, like no man it's got to be the same every time I, yeah, I am right-handed, so I mean, it makes sense how it start with my left hand, but. There we go. <laughs> Just do the crotching feet last, please. <laughs> no, there's, <laughs> you know, there's probably some savages out there like, you know what I start with. <laughs> From the bottom up, dude. <laughs> From the bottom up, dude. It's probably, it's probably OCD for somebody. They're like, look, dude, I got to start from the bottom and work my way up. Night of Ring of Night's Fire. I just noticed I was wearing this poison buildup ring this whole entire time like a straight scrub. Deal additional fire damage and wither damage. That'd be nice if I had that spell that allowed me to activate fire all the time, but I could use it for stamina. Okay, I might go up that ladder too. Screw it. Like, I don't. Let me go spend these souls real quick. I'm just worried about fighting that boss fight, dying, and then having to re clear this entire area just to get back over there. But then. It could just be an easy boss and I could beat it first try. Ha! <laughs> Have I seen the movie Grand Tur I th I thought you said Grand Torino. And I no, I didn't know there was a uh Grand Turismo movie. Okay, so that'll bring us back up over that way. out first how many heals do i got none so hopefully there's nothing too crazy up here
mean, this is definitely seeming a bit more sketched than the damn... I don't know, guys. This seems like I'm pushing. Let's go through that boss. Screw it. If there's even a boss there, I don't even. I don't even know if there's a boss there, guys. That definitely seems like we're going to be pushing into a whole new area with that. Uh, and because there's a ladder, I could just run past all the enemies. Oh, it was like last time we fought him. Like, you fight him and then he just disappears and then, like... So what happens if you kill him? I mean, I can't kill him for sure, but I'm pretty sure there's some, like, pro Souls players out there that absolutely shred that dude. So should I have went up 
or before, like, cause I got two areas that I could potentially go to. I got this flame area, and then there was that other area way back where we could have went up on that wall and shit there. I wonder which, if, you know, if I'm if I'm going into a higher level area. I don't see any totems to come out of the umbral. Oh, it's okay. So we're gonna have, all right, we're gonna have to go umbral anyways, just to even advance through this area. So. Crusader Cross. Stage. See, that would be really cool for you know, I would love to be really good at like Souls games. Like, I see some of those guys out there fucking insane, you know what I mean? And like. I don't even understand what level of awesome it takes to, to, to get to that. Obviously, you know, they got probably thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours into the game and they probably fought the boss 10,000 times, but still, it still doesn't make it any less impressive.
spending the whole fight just trying to get rid of these damn little dudes. It's actually probably easier to just go humble right off the bat in this fight. That way you can spot the little dudes, knock them out quick. I like to stay out of the umbral in the boss fights just because it gives me um, an extra life. But in that case, I feel like it hurt me more than anything. All that I still only had I have no heals. We just gotta get into the fight with health. That that's it. But now I kind of remember where they all are, so we should be okay.
really spam the fuck out of that fireball, dude. Those little umbral dudes. Can you you can only kill them with the lamp? Cause the one that sucks is the one that's right behind her. You can hit him? Okay, so that would be nice if I let me let me try this this way. Just shoot through the wall, man. <laughs> Promise you can't lock them. Okay, this is the most health I've had going into this fight. Stunlock, bro. Stuff. I might, I might, I don't know. Oh, oh that's fucking cheating, dude. You can't shoot through the wall, bro.
The lamp takes way too fucking long, dude. Yeah, I could use melee weapons. The problem is... Actually, you know what? That might... That might... That might be better, dude. The melee weapons might be the answer. To getting into the fight a little... I mean, we're getting into the fight consistently now with a little bit of heals. So, there, there is that. Oh, sorry guys. Thank you. Thank you. Now I said, uh, what do we get from that? Other, but I, I seen what we got. But yeah, we, we, we won chat. That's all that matters. We got the dub. 
I don't think it's worth seeding that area at all. Magma ring. Is it? Whoa, there is what? Is it bad every time I hear the word magma? I always think of the word as in like magma from Austin Powers. <laughs> I told you I'm weird, guys. It is what it is. Magma. Let's see what that is. Uh, that would have been nice in that fight that we just fought. Yeah, fire resistance in this area would probably be pretty be pretty nice overall, right? Seeing as there's a lot of even the little enemies in this area do fire damage to little elemental like ghoulie dudes. Whoa. Okay. I had to hit him real quick with the sheen day dude. Okay, so we know we got we can come out of the umbral right there. Hoping that the umber lamp connects this. It does. Okay, so we just connected the vestige to this area.
Fire, but it didn't have the fire body. Something we could loot there in the umbral. I didn't even see. What did we get, guys? When he said a ring? Okay. We will be playing Spider-Man tomorrow. Mario. Will I continue the Ghost Runners game? Um, as funny as it is, and as frustrating as that game was, I still had fun playing it. Um, so I'm not saying I would never play the game again, but um, I'll probably never play the game again. about the sequel I mean it is what it is right cast me it is what it is dude if I didn't know about the first game I, I'll live without the sequel you know
place is freaking insane. Enemies are starting to get a bit tankier, you know what I mean? Probably should go try to upgrade my weapons another level. Umbral area. to go on well anyways as you guys can see there's from the uh doors here That door right there we gotta put out. I seen one of them here. I think that might be the only one. Alright, so we're gonna have to go Umbro for pretty much this whole area going forward. So before we do that, let's go ahead and see if we can get some upgrades. Uh, can I see this? Yes. Also, guys, I want to thank everybody for over 300 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Selfish and avaricious as Galinda is, Traveler, she is indeed skilled. And it's no small feat to smith magic-infused manacles such as the one she used to bind me to her when she found me weakened and injured. I watched the cataclysmic death of a universe, and came as close to my own death as I ever have in all my eons, only to then find myself once again in this world. Now, a slave. I have traveled to countless realities and borne witness to wonders beyond measure. And yet, eventually, time numbed me to all of it. I had cast off my mortal form long ago with no regret, but I was a fool to discard my humanity. I see that now. With my renewed appreciation for life, for experience, for freedom, is only made more bitter regret by my current enslavement. I only desire to be free once more, to- Oh, boo-hoo, woe is me. Get back to Verve while Galinda still has use for you. Ah. You again. <sighs> That's the thing is, like, a lot of these weapons, I, I know I'm never going to use, but 
It's like I don't want to get rid of them. Okay, I do got a couple of those skulls we can pop real quick. Uh, so I'm using some bleed short swords that we uh, I've been acquiring throughout the game, um, and I, I'm love I'm liking the feel of it. I'm generally not I don't use like heavy weapons all that often, like the real big clunky two handers. Those generally aren't my style. And I gotta like especially like big hammers and things. I don't know. I just never been my. So I'm going to hold on to that. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Socket roots. I don't... Oh, so are those those... those oh, okay, okay. So I think the runes are those things you get out the vending machines, right? And then you can put runes in your weapons. for that. I was able to get one of my weapons to plus five, the other one to plus four. Bring our bow up. these boss weapons were the only one I was even thinking about trying was that that sword this one but it's like a radiance weapon so the medium armor looks so fire though I haven't got any of those chisel things.
so I need to get my hands on an Inferno Catalyst, In right? Radiance Judgment. How do you know what that is? And is, is there like a trader that sells that? Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Or is this something you have to loot? You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. So that's a pre that's a radiant catalyst right there. To strive in darkness, in light we walk. Go back to the windmill and go back through the big gate. Yeah, he had a radiant catalyst, not the one I needed though. Cyber Zombie, thank you for the super chat. Uh, what's the next? So I was actually thinking about playing some Conan today. Um, and as for Valheim, um, we were only about two episodes into Valheim and the viewership dropped off quite hard. Um, you know, in two episodes. In, in judgment. Valheim could have easily have been a, a game that would have lasted, uh, let's just say, 20, 30 streams. Our um, Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Really digging in and exploring. And, 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 do, and it just, I don't know, it, it didn't have a strong enough viewership to justify playing it. Because if by episode two it's already that low, imagine by episode 10 or episode, you know, it's just wouldn't be playable so uh i was thinking about valheim um me doing the same thing i'm doing for Border borderlands and um recording some videos of me playing it and posting it like that so i don't know where where in the windmill Oh, you know what? I I think I know exactly where you guys are talking about. I skipped. There was an area, I think, up this way somewhere. And I, there was a bunch of, like, uh, dudes. And I walked with, I didn't go towards them. I don't remember where that was. It was like soldiers. Yeah, the gate with the bell. I, I've seen a couple of these. How do you open these? So I have no clue. Oh, you just walk up and hit unlock gate. Though it seems like the enemies scale. Even though I came back to like the very first area of the game, it seems like the enemies 
are still just as hard as they were in the other areas too. Damn, I, I know there was another door too with the bell. I don't remember what the hell that one was. I also gotta buy that key. That lookout key, that's like 9,000 souls. In Valheim, later area is harder and less people played uh, by people also require more skill to tackle like other Yeah, I, I hear that cyber um, Yeah, it's just it, it was one of those games that just I don't, I don't know it seemed like a lot of people were excited for it But then you know it, it it just happens to be like that, you know, there's some games that just do really well and there's some games that You get stuck in a boss fight room before you were ready And he's Seriously? That's not even a thing. Beginning is less interesting in Valheim, later areas is harder and less played by people, also requiring more skill to tackle, like other games.
I have to fight this in the umbral so I can move. Once I kill that thing, the wolves are pretty squishy. So we can focus on the wolves first and then try to fight the big guy. So much damage. Anderson with the five, brother. Thank you so much, man. Hey, you know, I had a, 
I, I, gotta, I gotta talk the real facts, you know? Yeah, so just a heads up, guys. This fight in the Umbral is a straight L. Because you got to fight that other thing that we had. That was like a... That has the split face. Um, which was hard enough in itself. Plus three wolves and the ice, dude. Yeah, it's not, not a good time. Like, see, I could go in the Umbral and fight that dude, but... Like, there's actually some loot in there, too. Yeah, it's like a whole nother area of the fucking game that we didn't even play. We got a vestige here so we can go back in there and fight that dude. Now are the I wonder if the wolves let me let me heal I want to go into this fight with full health Pretty sure the wolves might respawn I don't know if the the wolves were a part of that boss fight though
<laughs> Anderson, brother, with the super chat. Hey, man, it's the, it's the, it's the, you know, it's that raw truth that nobody ever wants to talk about, you know? And that, that's like, that, that's the one thing I, you know, I take pride in is I, I'm, I'm that guy, you know? I, I take that L for everybody else. I'm, I, I get in there, I get dirty, I do the things nobody wants to do. I talk about the things nobody wants to talk about, you know? I'm here for you guys. a lot weaker oh, and it's still kicking my ass though One of the chisel chisels that will upgrade our uh, our lamp. That was good stuff. That was way way easy fight compared to the first time we fought that dude. the inferno we need to operate a catalyst Boris, may your grace sustain me in these most desperate of days and in the darkness through which I fight for it seems to encroach ever closer I fear the weight of this profane work will crush me or worse as ever I turn to you in my moment of doubt, and will endeavor to remember that this role which perturbs me so is merely a necessity in the performance of your will, and in that, I vow to be resolute. Please continue to hold my brother Samuel in your radiant embrace forevermore. In light we walk. I believe I missed this area chat. I think there was another bell door also. I don't remember where it was. But I'm like shit, like I don't know how big this area is, but there was a lot behind that door, guys. So if you guys are like me and you missed the bell door, definitely go back because this seems like a relatively decent sized area. Good boss fight right there. Do I plan on uh, playing Spider-Man 2 tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I do. 100% I'll be playing Spider-Man 2. The man of station of PM. <laughs> uh, have I played Dark Souls or Bloodborne? Um, so I played Dark Souls 1 um, and 3, but I, can't, I don't really claim that I played Dark Souls 3 because I've only played like what maybe a few hours I'd say maybe eight hours of Dark Souls 3 so it's hard for me to uh it's hard for me to sit there and be like yeah you know I I I, I don't know so I I I'll say the only Dark Souls game I I would consider that I've played would be Dark Souls 1 and uh I never played Dark Souls 3 or 2 and I would say this game is very, very familiar to like right, all the Souls games. You know, it feels a lot like Elden Ring. It feels a lot like Dark Souls. Um, like for sure, it's it's uh, it feels more like a Dark Souls game um, than any of the Souls likes that have come out uh, in the more recent times.
I like this game a lot. I think it's pretty cool. Well, somebody was complaining I wasn't reading chat. So got double-edged sword. I don't, I don't play the game enough, and I read chat. I get people in the comments. What the fuck, bro? This ain't Twitch. Fucking videos suck. Stop reading chat. Fucking play the game. I play the game and try to manage chat the best I can. Bro, you don't read chat. You fucking suck. It's a lose-lose, man. You can never do right. So we need to obviously get to the other side there. But it's, it's true. I mean, I get it, guys. Like, I've gone in chats before, you know what I mean? And been sitting there asking a question over and over and over again, you know what I mean? And, and then the streamer just seems like they, they pass over my message or, you know, they just they read every message and it feels like they're not reading mine. You know what I mean? So I, I get the frustration. Like, I'm not sitting here saying that people that feel that way are, like, stupid or shouldn't feel that way. Bro, I get it. Like, trust me, I fucking get it, because I've been there, I've messaged streamers, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck, bro? Like, you can't fucking take two seconds to read the fucking chat, you know what I mean? So, like, I get it, but it's one of those things that it's easy to sit there and say until you're sitting there streaming in front of hundreds of people, and then you got, you're trying to manage a game and shit like that. Like, and when you're looking at a chat bar that's, you know, probably about 12, 13 inches long, and... Most people, I guarantee that person that complained about me not reading chat did not tag me. They didn't put at Brian Menard. So most people, they don't tag you. So it doesn't highlight. And then, um, so I can't see it. And it's like, like I said, I tell you guys, so it's like reading the fucking Matrix sometimes. There's just so much chat. All the letters blend together. It's just a, a wall of emojis and white spots. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it is, it is quite hard to read. But at the same time, it's like, I understand, you know what I mean? Because, like I, like I said, I've been in chats, I've, I've, I've messaged, and, you know, like, damn, bro, what the fuck, you don't like me? You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to read my shit? But then I became a streamer, I was like, oh, okay, I see, I see. It's a, it's a little harder than it looks. Answered him? Oh. Well, then why was he mad if I answered him? Uh, I might have gave him the answer he didn't like. Oh, I just didn't answer him fast enough. <laughs> That's a rune, right? See, what is this? Weapon function gain health upon killing and... Oh! So this is like a leech. No, it's because these are uh, armor colors. This, I believe, is a weapon room. We need to get this ASAP, in ASAP installed. See, I at least, you know, before I get, you know, annoyed, I guess you could say, with a streamer, I at least type the same message at least two to three times. I'll ask two to three times and then wait a little bit. And if I still don't get answered, then I'll just give up. Like, yeah, fuck this, dude. All right, I, I get it. <laughs> You're not answering my question. But if you just ask once and then get mad that you don't get your question answered... 
That's a little crazy. I'm going to try to tag this dude down there. Oh, fuck that damage, dude. What was that? Those of you guys who asked earlier, yes, I will be playing Spider-Man tomorrow, of course. I uh, will be checking it out. <laughs> Sometimes you're too busy dying. <laughs> dying, punching grannies, and killing dogs. I mean, it is the truth. It, minus the punching grannies. I only did that once. And the dogs, that's... Uh, Max Stone, I appreciate that, man. Uh, so this is... I don't think this is a PC only game. Is it guys that you would have to I, I am a PC player, so I'm the worst when it comes to asking those questions. Um, I don't think it's PC only though. Patrick, my favorite color is probably red. I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a, a combination Sometimes between red and black. I, I just love that color combination. York. A blessed peace. Perhaps I'll just damn the whole mess, toss my crown into the gorge, and live out here as a hermit. You'd find me a wise and fair ruler. Well, you learned it from me, after all. But you'd never abandon your throne, or your wife. You're right. Of course, or my child. You're going to be a father. Congratulations to you and Sophesia. King York the First has a certain ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Athena with the super chat. Holy crap, thank you so much. Killing innocent animals is built in the... No, it's not. <laughs> I've never killed an animal that was innocent. Except those couple, but that was different. Is there a way to get back out of the umbral? I don't want to press through any umbral here. I think that's going to kind of suck. But I don't want to refight all those guys again, so. Now, see, Anderson, yeah. They're, they're, now, like I said, I know I'm not the perfect streamer. I know I'm not. I, there's so many things I could do better. Um, and one of the things I wanted to start doing, and we've done it a few times, is after my stream's over, you know, once the gameplay's finished, I, I could, you know, take 10, 15 minutes and kind of just pop with chat. Um, do you know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, my content, I do try to focus on the gameplay. And that's mainly because that's, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people are here to watch cool games. You know what I mean? If I just sit here and talk the whole fucking time, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's a good bit of you guys that are interested in, in talking and hanging out and stuff like that. But a lot of people do want to see the game. You know, let's, let's just be real. Um, 
so I do tend to try to focus on the gameplay and kind of, you know, weave my my, my chatting in uh, when I see fit. And can I play C here? And I feel it's I, I have a decent, um, you know, balance. But I don't know. I, I did I did at one point want to start chatting, you know, at the end of stream for like 10, 15 minutes. But the problem is I got a family, you know what I mean? I got so much, like, my time off stream, I, I'm, like, in a rush a lot of the times. I'm like, all right, I got to get off. My kids are about to go to bed, or uh, I got to get off. You know, I told my son I'd watch Naruto with them, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of... So it's like the second my stream ends, I'm trying to I'm trying to go and, you know... Black heart killing innocent animals is built into Brian's personality at this point. Uh, so that's why I, I tend to not do that as much as I, I want to. Oh, well, Riv, I appreciate you, man. Okay, so there's a, one of those big-ass dudes that we just fought as a boss. Another one of them annoying-ass bow and arrow dudes over here, too. Damn, that was super effective, dude. I wonder if I could walk up behind this dude and kick him off the edge. You think so? Not give a fuck, dude. <laughs> he wasn't having it. goodies over there. We're going to have to go umbral for that, though. Another one of them bow and arrow dudes. I wonder if I can cheese this one, too. Kind of, it's kind of crazy that we passed this whole entire area up. Oh, that's close the gap on this dude. We'll try it. Screw it.
We got shredded again, but it's all good. Because now we don't have to go through that other way. This dude's gonna be quite easy because we can just kind of sit here and do this to him. Well, that was a good shot. Not really, no need though. We can go up and fight him. to my daughter Courtney, 13, and son Leon, 2, watching your stream as family time. There it is. Up the Irish Ireland best wishes to you and your family, Brian. Xbox Punisher, thank you and the fam so much. What the hell? I hope you guys are having a great night. Uh, but Courtney, how you doing today? Leon, how you doing? I appreciate you guys. Whoa.
I was dodging around him. There. And now, and then all of a sudden, it just wasn't. The damage, dude. <laughs> I just don't understand how I'm getting hit so hard, chat. Getting kicked off the ledge, all that stuff. Like, I get it. But the fact that that man literally just took me from, like, almost full health to no health in one arrow. Yeah, I do still have a fire resist shit on for no reason. I mean, realistically, I can get some more stam, but none of that, none of that is even the problem. It's just bad play on my behalf. I just For some reason I'm just having such a hard time right now killing freaking two arrow dudes. Well, I mean the arrow dudes are quite annoying to fight, and their damage is something I've never seen before, but Heal over time. I, I, I've been using those little heal over time things. Yeah. I'm here in a few minutes. I'm, uh, I'm going to probably do this. Push this five, five more minutes.
Yeah, I got these little heal over time things, but they're, they're all right. Nothing to write home about. And those are the stamina ones. I can't heal when I'm um, when I'm affected by the wither. It's just built different. Nah, he just does stupid amounts of damage. That that's all that came down to. Yo, I feel like there was an area like this in Elden Ring, wasn't there? <laughs> He's like tanky as hell, man. leveled for this area like is this somewhere you're supposed to come later and not right in the beginning of the game <laughs> these enemies just feel like they're built different <laughs> All right, it's all good though, guys. We're gonna end this here. I gotta go eat dinner. Um, I gotta go also to the store and pick up my son's little uh, DS. Uh, 
but we got shredded today. We got shredded. Uh, didn't I feel like we didn't make as much progress, but I also think this area might be a little... A little uh, beyond me, but that or I could try to use some more like fire salts and things like that But I got to get the infernal catalyst guys so we can start using some fire magic and shit like that uh, But we'll look more into that. So if you remember if you guys want some more of this, I'm having a blast with this game guys it, It's so much fun. It definitely uh, It's like sparked that love that I have like when we were playing Elden Ring and shit it was, It's just it's just such a good time. So again, thank you guys so much I will be doing another stream here in a little bit uh, after dinner and stuff so uh Hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys there. We might play some Conan. Tomorrow we'll be playing Spider-Man and probably something else. So uh, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys. If I don't see you in the next stream, you have a great rest of your night. And uh, for everybody else, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.